I <laughs> I feel um, that I see big crystal pillars. Mm -hmm. Big crystal pillars. They are pink. Mm -hmm. Where do you see these pillars? They are just in front of me. At the same time, I feel like I... I feel like a... a I'm confused because I feel like um, a little girl, mm -hmm. but she's crying. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're connected. All right. So which one would you like to focus on first? What takes your attention most? Um, when I think about the little girl, my heart hurts. All right. So, so let's connect with this little girl. Do you feel that you can see through her eyes? Are you watching her? Describe this little girl. She is... She's in the garden mm -hmm. on the steps. Mm -hmm. And she has her head down and um, her head in, in her arms. Mm -hmm. She's just um, sitting there. She's upset. All right. How is this little girl dressed? She's just dressed like a t-shirt or mm -hmm. um, okay. some type of pants. I want to say she's like six or seven. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to connect with this little girl. And let's find out a little bit about her hmm. and why she's there on the steps. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect mind to mind and heart to heart. And let's find out who she is. Okay, I feel the first thing that comes up is she... She doesn't want me to go where I'm about to go. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. She doesn't want me to see what I'm about to see, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's ask this girl, little girl, who she is. Uh, I feel like she might be me. Mm -hmm. mm. So what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to Get next to this little girl and put your arms around her <sighs> and give her that big hug that she needs. And what would you like to tell this little girl so that she'll feel better about your journey? I love her. Mm -hmm. And it's okay because you are strong and you are prepared. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what does she say back? She's hesitant, <laughs> mm -hmm. but she does like the comfort. Good. So let's ask this little girl, what would make her feel better? She wants to come with me. All I right. didn't expect that answer. Okay. So would you like to take her hand and walk with her and go on this journey together? Okay. How does she feel about that? She feels um, more confident now. Very good. All right. So let's take this little girl on this journey. And I'm going to go ahead and count from three back to one. And we'll go back to that place that you saw with the pillars. Taking a big breath on three. Going through time and space. Holding her hand. Two. And one. Be there now. Where are you? I 
don't know. This is not a familiar mm -hmm. place. Um, so describe this place for me. Um, Are it indoors or outdoors? Um, and this is outside. Mm -hmm. Outside. The ground is blue. Mm -hmm. Um. I just feel like um, everything is made of crystal, mm -hmm. and there's... Blue crystals? The ground almost reminds me of sand. Mm -hmm. It's like a very vibrant blue. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, but any structure that I see is made of... I see a lot of pink, like rose quartz mm -hmm. or something. So what kind of structures are you seeing? Tall pillars, like mm -hmm. like quartz points, mm -hmm. but they're huge. How many do you see? Um, there is two that are taking my focus, but I feel like because they, they are the tallest. Mm -hmm. But I feel like um, everything else around is also made from this type of material. Mm -hmm. And as you're standing there while looking at all of this, do you have a body? <sighs> Focus in on the observer of these pillars. Do you sense a body? Mm. Look down. <laughs> what do you see? I am confused. Mm -hmm. I see. I feel like my legs are like birds' mm -hmm. legs. Mm -hmm. I feel blue too. Okay. So let's focus in more on your body and tell me what color. Do you have skin or do you have feathers? What does your body look like? Uh, um, I, I feel like I have wings, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't feel like I'm made of feathers. Mm -hmm. So take a look closely at that, which is your wings. What color do you see? Mm -hmm. They are like white. White, beautiful. And are these large wings or small ones? They're bigger than me. Mm -hmm. And where are these wings attached to in your body? They are on my back. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's take a look at the rest of your body. What does your torso look like? This is like nothing I've ever seen before, so it's um, mm -hmm. difficult to explain. That's okay. I want to say that it's... I feel bird-like, but also I feel like my torso is... It's like a human mm -hmm. torso, mm -hmm. and I feel this color blue. Okay. Do you feel that you're male or female? Do you have a gender? Um, hmm. Sense your energy. <laughs> mm, I am getting um, both. Okay. So. That's very good. Now let's take a look at your face and your head. What do you look like? I have something, I uh, feel like um, something wrapped around my forehead. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine that is? It's like a... It's, it's like a band. Mm -hmm. There's... <laughs> there's like a crystal or something mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. What is this band made out of? Um, it's, it is made out of crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 
I just keep feeling this blue. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say turquoise, but of course I, mm -hmm. I don't know where I got that from. All right. So as you're there in this place, do you feel like you're large mm -hmm. bird or small? How does it I feel? Feel larger. Mm -hmm. Larger. Is there anyone around you? Or are you by yourself there? I feel by myself. Okay. So if you're there by yourself, let's find out what this place is. So I'd like to invite you to begin walking in this place. <sighs> and let's explore where we are. As you walk, just describe what you see. It feels more natural to fly. All right. So let's begin to fly. Allow yourself to take off. This is... There are buildings mm -hmm. made... Everything's made of crystal. Like, I'm understanding that this is also a temple. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm flying over... It at, 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 it's a very sacred place. Mm -hmm. Do you see any other beings there in this place? No. Mm. I'm does, all alone. <laughs> how does it feel to be all alone in this sacred place? Um, it feels strange. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's people inside. Mm -hmm. Or beings, I don't know. All right. Does this place feel like it's a place where you live or a place that you're visiting? Mm. I feel like this is a place of learning. Okay. I... Mm -hmm. Very good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to count from one to three to move you forward into the time where you are learning in this place. Taking a deep breath in now. One, two, and three. You can now move forward. I am teaching. Mm -hmm. There are... I'm in, inside one of the classrooms. What do these classrooms look like? It's funny, it's like everything is made of crystals. Mm, nice. There are desks, but um, the being sitting at the desk, all I see is they're just a light. Mm -hmm. So they're light beings? Just a light, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. They, they don't really have a form. Mm -hmm. And do you still have a form when you teach? I can. Mm -hmm. You choose to have a form or not? If, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's always like that's not important. Mm -hmm. So what is important about this class? What are you teaching? Hmm. Allow the knowledge to just flow. Preparing. Mm -hmm. Preparing these these other beings with my experiences, so it's not just not just Earth experiences. Mm -hmm. This is many different environments, and for these souls to go take their incarnations, mm -hmm. they must prepare, so they, it's like, um, just prepares them for what they're going to experience, because mm -hmm. it's going to be so different. Mm -hmm. um, Anything else that you get from this? I feel strong goddess energy. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's very fulfilling for me mm -hmm. to be sharing these experiences. <sighs> Is 
there anything else that you need to know from this classroom, this experience? What do you feel? I just feel very fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to continue traveling to another time in that same lifetime when something important is happening. I'm going to go ahead and have you close mm. the scene and open the next scene of that lifetime. <laughs> Where are you? Um, I feel like I'm negotiating with souls about my next incarnation. Mm -hmm. So who are these souls? Hmm... <sighs> I've met them once before. Mm -hmm. It's we are a council. We are a council. How many are you on this council? We are nine, mm -hmm. but we are one. Mm -hmm. And on this council, are you part of the one negotiating, or are they negotiating for you? We're negotiating who's coming with me. Um, I, f I feel very proud and very capable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we're just setting up. The experiences. Mm -hmm. What kind of experiences does this soul need in this next incarnation? Oh, she needs to share her knowledge. Mm -hmm. She needs to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. So what kind of teacher is she going to be in this next incarnation? This is for me. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. um, because I have so much experience, I can guide. I am just a guide. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be more, it would be more of a guide than a teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Will she be guiding others because of her own experiences? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more about what is said on this council. Let's look at the people that will be incarnating with her and the mm. challenges that she'll be facing. <laughs> let's see if any of these souls step forward. Hmm. I understand that there's two more and I have not met them yet. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. <sighs> it's about learning how to use your energy mm -hmm. in a lower vibration. Mm -hmm. And why is it that the soul needs it in this incarnation to learn to use this? It's just necessary for Earth's evolution. Mm -hmm. So has this been soul been called to Earth for a certain reason at this time? Of course. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Hmm. She's very powerful. Mm -hmm. She holds keys to wisdom. Mm -hmm. That but, she has learned. Mm -hmm. But when you say she's very powerful, it could mean many different things. What are her superpowers during this incarnation as Brianna? <sighs> Raises the vibration. Mm -hmm. How does she do that? 
Just being. Just being. So is that why she's going to be a human being? Oh, yes. <sighs> Very necessary. Mm -hmm. And will be she be picking situations in order to raise the vibration, or are they just going to be there for her to transmute them? Hmm. They will come. Mm -hmm. She can pick them. <laughs> Everything that has to happen will happen. Mm -hmm. What missions did she come here to do besides raising the vibration? Is there anything else? Mm. She's clearing the ley lines. Mm -hmm. How does she do that? Her vibration. Mm -hmm. Just being... Just being in certain points. <sighs> Does she need to travel to clean the ley lines? Sure. Mm -hmm. She can meditate and do it too. Mm -hmm. So what, what would you like to tell her about that? To remind her of how mm -hmm. to do that? It's a rainbow frequency mm -hmm. and just the intention alone and knowing mm -hmm. she can use it good has she used it before she has very good but besides cleaning the ley lines for Gaia she wants to be of service while she's in this incarnation while she's on earth <laughs> what can she be doing for a living for example to be happy <laughs> oh, that's part of her mission too, mm -hmm. is figuring it out. Ah. Well, she's been a teacher before. And in this incarnation, she has put some roadblocks in front of her to where she won't be able to do things in the normal route. Hmm. Is she just challenging herself? <laughs> oh, yes. Mm -hmm. She loves to take on challenges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is because she's so capable. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a common thread mm -hmm. in mass consciousness, this feeling disconnected mm -hmm. from source. And it gets confused as rejection because it can't be... Yeah. It can't be felt. Mm -hmm. So it's about mastering that fear of rejection or even the blocks of rejection that have come up. Mm -hmm. Shifts that. So how can she master this so that we can get past that fear of rejection? What does she need to know? Hmm. Everything will come together if you just try. Is she trying? She's too afraid. Mm -hmm. So would you help me take her back to the origin of this fear to see why she created such a block? Would you allow that? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want to have the soul go back to the memory where the origin of the rejection began, where this fear began of being rejected. It could be in this lifetime or a different lifetime, but I'm going to count from five back to one to find the origin. <sighs> so taking a deep breath in now, five, traveling through time and space to find the origin of rejection. Four. Looking for the moment where it all began. Three. Begin to understand and see the time now. 
two, almost there. And one, be there now. Hmm. Where are you? <laughs> hmm. Uh, I feel like I'm not in a pleasant situation. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm. Ugh. First of all, are you indoors or outdoors? Outside. Outside. Is it daytime or nighttime? I guess it's daytime. Mm -hmm. And in this place, how old are you? Uh, you're 26. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to focus on your body and tell me what you look like. I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed? I have on a, a long dress, mm -hmm. seems long ago, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I almost want to say medieval, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Um, so are you alone or with others there? Other people are around me. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they're going to hang me. Mm -hmm. So you can observe this from the outside and watch what's happening. I want you to listen. What are they saying? They call me a witch. Mm -hmm. What are they doing to this woman? They're like taunting me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're saying they should burn me. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling there? I feel very misunderstood and um, obviously I'm afraid I'm, they're literally about to hang me right now. Okay, so I want you to close that scene right now, close the scene, and I want you to go back in time to before they caught you. I want you to see what you were doing. Three. Two, one, be there now. Hmm. Where are you? I'm like in a wooded area. Mm hmm. Are you alone or with others there? I'm alone. Mm hmm. Um, I. <laughs> Maybe I'm a witch because I'm doing like full moon rituals and, mm -hmm. um,. I'm arranging like crystal grids. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go deep into the mind. And let's find out what this crystal grid is doing. What's it meant for? Mm, it's for the earth. For the earth. Mm -hmm. Are you there to help the earth? Yes. Yes. All right. So let's see. What you do in this ritual? Take me through it. Um, I'm just preparing for the full moon. Mm -hmm. I'm outside. I am arranging like stones. There's, they're not huge. They're not. Um, I'm setting intentions. Um, I. I'm working with, I work with the moon cycle. Mm -hmm. It's very important to me. Yes. So let's move forward to the <laughs> moment where you're complete and something happens. Go to the next significant event. What happens now? Mm. Uh, people just come to my house mm -hmm. and they're harassing me. Mm -hmm. How many people do you see? Just two. All right. Are they male or female? They're male. All yeah. right. Take a look into their eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes in the lifetime of Brianna? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. What happens next? They're taking me to jail. 
What are they accusing you of? Uh, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. They don't understand at all. I'm not doing anything to bother anybody. Mm -hmm. What happens next? They leave me in jail for a couple days. I don't get to go back to my house. Nobody will listen to me. Nobody. They don't care. I'm so misunderstood. And I tried to just stay away from everybody because I didn't want to deal with this misunderstanding. Because I'm not doing anything to hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. And now they're just, they're going to, they're going to hang me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you just to observe from outside of the body. Just observe it. And I'd like for you to just know what are the last thoughts that you are thinking before you leave that body? Mm. Huh. <laughs> and I will pray for them. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to leave that body behind. Disconnect from that body and just be spirit. And you can look at that lifetime. You can see the purpose of it. And you'll see the lessons that you learned there. What was the purpose of living that life? rejection pain mm -hmm. to experience it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for what reason <laughs> to prepare for this lifetime mm -hmm. so let's now continue on the journey as spirit back to your council to review that life Mm -hmm. You tell me what they say. They're proud of me. Mm -hmm. You know, that was a hard one. Mm, but it's necessary to feel these... <sighs> these lower vibrations exist. They have to be experienced and transmuted. Mm-hmm. So in the lifetime of Brianna, why does she carry that reminder mm. of rejection? It has to do with her voice. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about her voice. She has to claim her voice again. Mm -hmm. Has she, she done has to learn that lesson? Mm -hmm. Has she done that yet? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> okay. So let's look at the characters that she has chosen in this lifetime to play with her. And let's see if there are any there in which she needs to claim her voice. Hmm. She has to... She has to speak her truth. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's misunderstood or not. Mm -hmm. So does she need to carry that pain from that misunderstood woman any longer? No. All right. So I'd like to ask you for some assistance in allowing her to forgive herself for holding on to this so long. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over your chest, your heart area, and I want you to go ahead and give me all of that that you've been holding of being misunderstood, of being called names that you're not, of being talked about and defined by information that's been incorrect in this lifetime and other lifetimes. I want you to pull all of that out, not needing to hold that any longer. It's not for you to hold. The opinions of others are not for you. Pull all of that out and tell me when I have it all. Pull it all out. Run so deep. Mm-hmm. You have it? Very good. So I'm going to take that energy and send it up to the universe for healing. And now in that space, what would we like to put in there? Mm, courage. All right. So I'm going to put a lot of courage in there. Feel that courage as it flows in to your heart. And as your heart beats, it flows into every cell. And we're going to seal that in. What else do you need to feel better? It's confidence. Mm -hmm. So let's put confidence and feel that confidence as it flows in from the universe. Filling you up with confidence. Knowing that as you move forward now, you don't need to go back into another life. You step forward with confidence and courage. Let's seal that in. What else do you need to feel better? Compassion. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to put compassion for yourself because you first need to have compassion for yourself before you can have compassion for others. So feel that compassion as it flows in understanding that everyone travels their own path and with the experience of a teacher that you are you understand that this is what it takes to help heal others and transmute that lower vibration Let's seal that in is there anything else that you need to feel better that feels good very good so now I'd like for you to just view that lifetime once again and tell me how it feels to see it with all of that courage and compassion. Mm, yes, I have more compassion. Mm -hmm. They were just playing their part. Mm -hmm. And see how it affects you now. I feel like I understand more. Mm -hmm. So let's take all of that and let's review the lifetime of Brianna all of the situations she's been in where she's been misunderstood and let's see if it has any correlations mm. can we see the pattern yes mm -hmm. take a look at the lessons that needed to be learned And let's look at it with the eyes of courage, of confidence, of compassion, and love. For this soul who has come here to help others. To clean everything. To transmute. And to claim her voice again. How does that feel? Mm, feels good. Very good. So now that we can see where this fear came from of rejection, let's look for that fear and see if we could find it in this body. Is it still there? <sighs> mm, I feel it in my stomach. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's take a look at your stomach 
and go deep within. And let's see if that fear is coming from Brianna or someone else. What is this fear that's in her stomach? Is it hers or someone else's? Someone else's. All right. Is this someone who is attached to Brianna? Or is she taking on someone else's fear? Take a look and see. Attached. Attached. Very good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put my hand over the area of the stomach and I'm going to bring that energy up so that we can give it a voice and find out why it's there. It's coming up, 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 up. And you can now speak. Are you male or female energy? I'm male. Male. What can I call you? What is your name? Bert. Bert. How old are you, Bert? 36. Mm -hmm. And what year is it for you, Bert? 1702. 1702. Very good. Now, Bert, I want to know what happened to your body? How did you die? It was an accident. It was an accident. What happened, Bert? A horse. Mm -hmm. What happened? He trampled me. Mm -hmm. So after he trampled you, what happened to your spirit? Where did you go? Did you go back home? Did you go to the light? No, I've just been around. Mm -hmm. So if you've been around for so long, in, in our sense of the word, how did you find Brianna? <sighs> how old was she? Twelve. Twelve. What was happening when she was twelve that made her so vulnerable that you can attach to her stomach? I just like her light. Mm -hmm. So, you kind of mistook her for the porch light? It wasn't your light, was it? No. No. So what have you been doing to this light all this time? What have you been mm. making her feel? Suppressed. Suppressed. What kind of things are you keeping her from doing? <sighs> I tell her not to go out. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Are you afraid? Mm, I don't want her to share the light with anyone else. Ah, okay. So, Bert, it seems that you need more light yourself, doesn't it? You're using mm. her as your light? Yeah. Did you know, Bert, that you had your own light all this time? Did you know that? Mm. Or did you forget? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, Bert, would you like to help me today find that light? I guess. Mm -hmm. Bert, inside of you there's that little light that's connected to your creator to the source of all light. Look inside and find that light now. It's warm. Mm -hmm. Now make it bigger. I want you to expand that light out and make it as big as you are and feel that light. Feel the warmth. Feel the love as it expands within you. Tell me how that feels. Feels good. Mm -hmm. This is the light that you should have seen and followed when you left that body behind. Now that you understand that this is where you need to go, what would you like to tell Brianna from being there all this time? I'm sorry. 
Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in. Brianna, can you forgive Bird for not knowing any better, thinking that you were the right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for Brianna, for you to go ahead and begin cutting away the cords holding Bert to your field. And Bert, I'd like for you to begin to detach from Brianna. And I'd like for you to go straight into that light. Allow yourself to flow into it. And tell me when you reach the light. the light. Beautiful. Is there anyone there there to greet you, Bert? Archangel Michael. Beautiful. So, may the universal light always follow you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. So now we need to look at that space. And we need to send some light into that space. I'd like to call forth Archangel Raphael, the healer and ask him to spread that beautiful green light of his into that space, healing it and sealing it. And tell me when he's done. It's done. Very good. So now let's take a look at the rest of the body. Do a scan and see if there's any other shadows or movements that don't belong in the body. Hmm. Shoulder. Mm-hmm. Take a look at the shoulder and tell me what that is. Is that something that belongs to the soul or somebody else? Where is that coming from? This discomfort in the shoulder. Mm. Did she create it? Or did she attract it? Attract it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over the area and bring that energy, compress it down, down, down. And you can now express yourself. You in the shoulder. Are you male or female? Hmm. What are you? I'm neither. Neither. So tell me what it is that you are that's causing this discomfort on her shoulder. Darkness. Darkness, okay. Well, it seems logical that the darkness is attracted to the light. Can you tell me why you're there? Why are you attached? Where am I supposed to to go? Oh, I see, okay. How long have you been attached to her? Long time. Okay, long could be a few years, a few months. How old was she when you attached to her? Years. Years. I want you to see when she, how old she was. How old was that? 21. 21. So can you tell me, Darkness, what she was doing at that age that would make mm. her so vulnerable for you to attach to her? What was happening? She was surrounded by darkness. Mm -hmm. So by being surrounded by darkness, did that open her up for you? She let me in. Mm. All right. So since she let you in, she's the only one that could let you out. (sighs) So I'm going to now ask in a moment for Brianna to speak. One, two, and three. Brianna, it seems that you have invited this darkness in. What do you think about that? <laughs> it needs to go. Mm-hmm. But we can't send it away in anger or disgust because you mm. invited this darkness into your life. What we need to do is find out why this darkness was attracted to you. So let me speak now with that darkness. Darkness, what it is? what is it that you're getting from Brianna that you need? Mm. What do you get from her? Because if she wasn't worth anything, you wouldn't be there. What are you getting out of this attachment to her? I play on every time she feels worthless. Ah, 
What do you get every time she feels worthless? I feel good. Mm. So it's kind of feeling, feeding you, isn't it? Yes. Ah, okay. Well, did you know darkness, that you can do something else to feed off of something else? Did you know that there was a source to feed off of to make you feel even better? I don't care. You don't care. Well, don't you want to be fed and feel good? Yes. Isn't that the whole reason that you are attracted to this light being? Because you wouldn't have been attracted to her if she hadn't been open. And you're still there. Darkness, did you know that you had a light within you? Did you know? I don't have a light within me. Take a look, because everything was created by the light. You see, you can't have darkness without light. It's impossible without light. There's no contrast. So, outside of you is light. Take a look. Take a look all around you. If it was just darkness, you wouldn't exist. Something has to cast a shadow. And the light is what creates you. It seems a little frustrating to you, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. Feels a little uncomfortable, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Well, darkness. We're going to cast a light on you. I'm going to ask the light to shine on you, to remind you where you came from. And we're going to turn on that light now to remind you of who you are. Let's turn it on and see who you really are. We're going to make that light brighter so that you can remember who you are. Make it even brighter. Remember who you are. Even brighter. Remember who you are. You are a spark of the light of Creator. You are a spark of God. Remember who you are. Feel it. I do feel it. Mm. You feel the light getting stronger now. And you will remember who you are. Do you remember the last time you had a body? before you were cast in the dark? No. Remember the spark. Remember when you were light. Feel it getting stronger and stronger. Feel the light feeding you. Mm. How does that feel? It feels better. Mm -hmm. And now that you feel better, is there any need to feed off of her energy when you can tap in directly to the source of all energy? I guess not. Mm-hmm. Are you ready now to go to that light, to feel the full force of it? 
the full love of it. I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call those that are here to assist you. These are the angels of the white light. And I'd like for them to come and assist you, to remind you of who you are. Tell me when you see them. They're here. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you? That I am love. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who you are now? Would you like Brianna to forgive you for not knowing any better, for forgetting who you were? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Brianna, can you forgive this soul for not remembering that it is love? Yes. All right. Very good. So we're going to send the soul off with love and with light. I'd like for you to go ahead and disconnect any cords attached to your shoulders, to your neck, it's a fallen angel. to your back. Mm. It's a fallen angel. And this angel needed to be reminded that it was love all along, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to use your heart and send this angel love so that I can go back to the source. And let's call in Archangel Michael and have him take him back. And I'd like to call this fallen angel love. Love, tell me what happens when you reach the light. I am accepted. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now I'd like for you to disconnect completely from this being. And I'd like to call in Archangel Raphael, the healer, to send his beautiful green light into that area. Thank you very much. And now let's take a look at that space and see how it feels. <sighs> feels lighter. It feels lighter, very good. So let's take a look at the body and see if there's any other areas that she needs to work on right now. How's the, how's the body look? Hmm. <laughs> she does have an implant. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see where that implant is. Her left buttock. Mm -hmm. All right. So, who would like to assist me here today in helping her with the implant? Mm, Archangel Michael. Very good. So, I'd like Archangel Michael for you to encapsulate that implant. And let's find the source of where that implant came. As he holds that implant in place, we're going to focus in on it. And I'm going to count from five back to one, to the origin, to see how that implant got there. Take a deep breath in now, five. Going through time and space now to remember when that implant was put in. Four. Through time and space. Three. Remembering. Two. Allow yourself to see now. And one. 
be there now. Where are you? Are you indoors or outdoors? My body. Mm -hmm. I'm indoors. I'm asleep. Yeah. Asleep. Very good. How old were you there? This is. This is like three years ago. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. This is an etherical mm -hmm. implant. All right. So let's find out how that got in there. What happens during this sleep? Hmm. She travels. Mm -hmm. Does she travel alone or with her guide? Mm. Her guides always come. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out where it is that she travels at this time to receive that implant. Hmm. This is traveling in different planes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like wrong place, wrong time. Mm -hmm. Vibration was recognized, so it was tagged. Mm -hmm. So let's find out who tagged her. Mm. This is. The grays. The grays, all right. So I'd like for you now to connect with those grays telepathically and find out what is the reason why this body was tagged. Mm. It's a plateau. Mm -hmm. I guess the vibration shouldn't go any higher. Uh huh. And what happens if the vibration goes higher? Mm. The earth will shift. Mm -hmm. And what would happen when the earth will shift? Mm. It's just not part of the agenda. Mm -hmm. Whose agenda? There's darkness here. There's darkness there. Is she being stopped from doing her mission? Of course. Mm -hmm. Are the greys the one behind it, or are there others behind the greys? Let's find out. No, they're just the workers. The workers. So who's the mastermind? Who's behind it? Who wants her stopped? Hmm. I'm going to put my, I'm going to tap your forehead and begin visualizing that being. Mm. It looks like a reptilian. Mm -hmm. Now these reptilians know that humans have free will and that the humans are here on a mission. And that because there is free will, they have no business tagging the soul. So I'd like for you, now that you have all of that courage, all of that confidence, and compassion for yourself, I'd like for you to now look at that reptilian in the eyes and tell the reptilian 
to remove the implant now. Oof, he's like laughing at me. Mm-hmm. You know how powerful mm -hmm. you are. The only reason it's been tagged is because of your power. <sighs> Tell him to repeat, to re return you back to full health and release that implant. Willing. Very good. So as he removes the implant, I want you to see yourself back into that form that you take with those wings. See your form with wisdom, with power. Feel it. And you can disconnect from the reptilians and the greys when it is complete. And take a look at the body now and see if there's anything left. Feels pretty good. Very good. Very good. Do we need any light there? Yes. All right. What color light? Pink. Very good. So go ahead and begin beaming that pink light into that area where the implant was, healing it and sealing it completely. and see if there's anything else that we need to work on. We're just going to put a perf We're going to put purple light around her just to protect her from right. her travels. All right, let's do that. Tell me when it's complete. <sighs> it's complete for now. Very good. Now, she had questions about her light language coming through. Would you tell me where it's coming from and what she's saying? Because she wants to better understand what's happening. Hmm. There's... She has a lot of Andromedan light. Tell me more about that. Her hands. Mm -hmm. What does she do with her hands? The light comes through her hands. Mm -hmm. So does she use her healing hands to help others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can she be using these hands in the future? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest? Just set the intention. Mm-hmm. Set the intention and let the light flow. Very good. So let's begin doing that now. I'd like for her to feel her hands. Focusing that light through her hands. And send that healing light out into the Gaia for healing. Hmm. 
what happens when she sends that light out. What kind of work does she need to do? She's instrumental in Gaia's transition. Mm -hmm. She channels the light. Mm -hmm. All she has to do is just set the intention and let it flow. Okay. And the language that's coming through, is that healing also? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to understand what she's saying? She will. She will. Is that with practice? Yes. She, when she gets out of her own way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So we know that she was doing, having a lot of blockages from the lifetime of mm -hmm. being called a witch. Mm -hmm. Now that we have gone past that, mm -hmm. take a look at how her future looks now. Much brighter. Mm -hmm. Without that dragging that life behind her? <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And she also tells me that she has healing burps. Oh, yes. What's happening uh, when she's burping like this? It's just a sign that she knows mm -hmm. what is happening, that there is channeling work happening with her body. Mm -hmm. you know, she's She is lifting vibration. Mm -hmm. So it's just a sign that it is taking place. It's a confirmation. Okay, so she doesn't need to do anything with it. Just no. be confirmed that she's Accept doing it. healing. Mm -hmm. And just let it be. Good. So now that we understand that she is here to really transform Gaia, that she is so powerful, what can she do in the future moving forward? Right now, her job is basically just paying for her expenses. She wants to be able to branch out more, do more things. What do you see her doing in the future? Mm. Keep pursuing her interests. Mm -hmm. it's just keep following that path. Mm -hmm. The doors will open. Just trust. Just trust. Very good. So another place where we need to trust is in her mouth. She's had a lot of issues with decay in her mouth. What's happening there? Hmm. <laughs> Very poor self-talk. Mm -hmm. So what does, how, should, how can she improve her self-talk in order to improve her health in her mouth? What does she need to say to herself? Positive affirmations are good. Mm -hmm. It's just being very aware mm -hmm. of every thought and every intention. They, they manifest. Mm -hmm. She's that powerful that they manifest. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's why she's been beating herself up in her mouth. That's not good. Mm hmm that will stop though. Okay. Can I get ask for a guide on her behalf to remind her of this? Yes. Good. And what can we use on her mouth now to begin the healing process? Green light. Beautiful. So I'd like for you to see a laser of green light. Full power, concentrated green light. Going through every bit of that mouth, all of the gums teeth, down into the root of the teeth, and reinforcing it, strengthening them, making them hold. And I'd like for you to add some pink light. This is the light of love. And let's begin to love our mouth. Love what you say. Love how you smile. Love how you share your truth, knowing that we are all learning. And by sharing our voice, sharing our ideas and our experiences with others, we learn to love ourselves even more. 
And tell me when that mouth has healed. It will continue to heal. Very good. And as we talk about her body, is there anything else that she could do with her body to take better care of it? Exercise. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask for a personal trainer, spirit guide on her behalf, to help her not only with nutrition, but with lots of exercise, ones that she will enjoy. Very good. Now we know that during the lifetime of that so-called witch that was mis misunderstood, she saw someone there that she recognized who was in her life now. I'd like to go in there and see if there's any forgiveness work that needs to be done. Is she holding any resentment from that life? Hmm. She brought it with her into this one. Distrust. Distrust. Very good. So I'd like for you now to look at this person. See them in your life. And I'd like for you to open your heart. And as you open your heart, see how you're Chakra opens, that green light coming from your heart, and I'd like for you to send it to this person. Connect your hearts. And feel what this other person is feeling. And understand why there is no trust. That heart is full of compassion now. And allow the images and the feelings to flow so that you can connect and understand why this has happened. What insight do you get? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive this soul now? I can understand. Mm -hmm. It's it comes from a place of <laughs> misunderstanding and jealousy. Mm -hmm. and I understand. Very good. So by understanding now, you can disconnect those feelings that hurt, that hurt you, because now you understand. So I'd like for you to cut the cord that has kept you from not trusting. Cut that cord. Because all that came from before. And you can create a new bridge that's healthier. You can create a bridge to this person full of love and understanding. And understanding that they are not the ones that define how you feel. Only you can define that. And with all of that courage and all of that confidence now in you, you can see how you can address them with love now, with understanding. How does that feel? Oh, feels good. Very good. Is there anything else that we need to address today that I haven't asked? Or are we complete? Very good. Thank you so much. Five, why?
wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. <laughs> what a session, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God. How do you feel? Um... I'm, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm buzzing. <laughs> um, Let's switch those up. Okay. Give you some grounding stones. Thank you. What do you remember? Hmm. Um, I feel like I remember a lot of it. Mm -hmm. How yeah. does your body feel? Um, it feels light. Mm -hmm. Um. My shoulder. back really feels light. Your yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your um, stomach. Yeah, that was wild. Mm -hmm. um, I think we got a lot done. Yeah. Is this what That's you expected? <laughs> <laughs> no. It, well, I mean, I knew it was going to be great, mm -hmm. um, but I just didn't expect all the. All the places that I went to and the things that I saw and mm -hmm. yeah and I know you saw a lot more than you were saying yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so how long do you think this session was um how did it feel to you like an hour mm -hmm. well, almost uh, <laughs> almost an hour and a half about oh an hour wow and five minutes. yeah yeah so you did very well <laughs> and uh, you could see where the fear of rejection came from yeah you were doing your own thing there, mm -hmm. um, doing your the grid mm -hmm. for Brian all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like, do you understand why now you were afraid of moving forward in your life? Oh, yes. Of that. Mm -hmm. You know, what if I do it and I'm going to be... Right. I'm going to be burned as a witch again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be called a witch again. Yeah. And I think a lot of the light workers who are here are dealing with things like that because they've lived that life before. Yeah. So how do you feel now moving forward? I feel I feel good. I feel excited. I feel very hopeful mm -hmm. and um yeah, it just it seems everything makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Um yeah, meeting with my council was very um, enlightening. It, it's a feeling that they, that it gives you, that it's, that's what's hard to even just put into words. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, you felt like you were negotiating with them. Oh yeah, we were. Like this is what we're going to do. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. You just don't know how hard yeah. it is when you, get <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you signed exactly. up for Yeah. you created it and then, mm -hmm. oh boy. Mm -hmm. So is this something you want to share? Um, if you think it'll be, if you think it was helpful, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's a lot of people in the same position yeah. as you. Okay. They're here to help others and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much in their personal. We'll, we'll pull okay. out anything personal that's in there, but... Yeah. But everything else is okay. pretty, pretty wild, huh? Yeah. So wild. <laughs> you did great. You Thank did you so much, Alba. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Let's